Joey Janela making his way to the ring. Not the first time we've seen him in PCW Ultra. Saw him in a triple threat match prior. An incredible match with Douglas James, who we just saw in action defending his title again for the ninth time, I might add. And Leo Rush, and what a match it was. And Janela, as I mentioned, likes to wreck faces and places and loves to party. This is going to be a painful party. Joey Janela is the bad boy of professional wrestling in 2018. This dude's got a screw loose, but I love it. Now making his way out to the ring, the zombie princess himself, Jimmy Jacobs. As I mentioned, a five-time ROH tag team champion with the likes of Tyler Black, BJ Whitmer. And here's a guy that has been influential in this sport, in the ring and behind the scenes. This guy has made some big waves, my friend. He really has all respect to the zombie princess. As my partner Todd Kennelly just alluded to, this is a man who has not only been a multi-time tag team champion in one of the biggest companies on the planet, but he's also groomed the stars of the future in WWE. Mad props to Jimmy Jacobs. Making an impact as of late as well, and are we looking at the future PCW Ultra Tag Team Champions? Uh-oh. And that theme music means everything to me. It means everything to the smart fans here at PCW Ultra. You heard the voice of Joseph at the top of that soundtrack. He is just here for the violence. And there you see him. Led by the fiery, hot mama, Carlina Gore. Kevin Sullivan, it's Jacob Fatu and Joseph, it's War Beast. War Beast, Jacob Fatu, Joseph flanked by the devil himself, Kevin Sullivan. You talked about, we talked about the influence Jimmy Jacobs have had, has had. What about the influence that Kevin Sullivan has had in this great sport over the years for decades? And now passing that wisdom down to Joseph. To Fatu. Fatu's got that tag team title pedigree as well. Descendant of the legendary Wild Samoans themselves. Jacob Fatu with a two bird salute for the fans booing and the fans cheering. These guys give no shits about what these fans think. They are just here for the violence. Joseph, as of late, claiming to be America's violence dealer. I'm sure he came loaded with a big stock here today. What do you know about a big stock, Todd Kennelly? You know nothing. Nothing. All right, Dan Masters here to Ladies set the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest for the PCW Ultra Tag Team Championships is a one fall match with a 60 minute time limit. Your official in charge of the action hey. after the bell is Jeremy Marquez. Introducing first, our challengers. First, from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Hey, you idiot, in case you don't remember. This means all violence is legal. You heard it there, Kevin Sullivan. Letting everybody know, especially this stupid idiot sitting next to me, Todd Kennelly. All violence is legal. Ladies and gentlemen, our official confirms this contest falls under the agreement that all violence is legal. If they come up here and use you as a weapon. That's bad news. You are a tool. Bad tool is my first, favorite band. That's from bad news. Asbury Park, New Jersey. 
weighing 202 pounds, the bad. Ooh, look at that. Joseph. Yes. You may dispense with the pleasantries. Joseph putting the boots to the bad boy. And again, all violence is legal. So fans, if you're joining us for the first time on PCW Ultra, MK has procured the stipulation where there are no rules. War Beast can defend the titles. They can do whatever they want. There's not gonna see, you're not gonna see any tags. You're not gonna see any finesse. You're gonna see a fight. You're gonna see a war. And this is bad news for 4J. Joey Janela and Jimmy Jacobs, as all violence is legal, and Janela and Jacobs are great professional wrestlers, but can they hang in a fight? And can Janela and Jacobs try and make it more of a wrestling match than other teams have? And you think of some of the teams that War Beast has defended the titles against, the likes of Los Luchas, the likes of Damian, 666 and Bestia, the Dirty Blondes, Sandman and Masada. So many victories for War Beast. So many victories in the ring, and I imagine in the bedroom. That is something I absolutely don't oh, want to yeah. think about. I'm what are you talking about? imagining it. Wonderful. Joey Janela has got Joseph in a precarious position. Ooh. Oh, look at For a senton. And there are not many things in this great sport that Joseph hasn't seen throughout his career. He saw that one coming. And you try and beat War Beast at their own game. It is a deadly proposition. That chair shot landing directly on the right elbow of Joey Janela, one half of 4J. And his elbow might be hurt as we now take a look in on Jimmy Jacobs and Fatu. The zombie princess trying to reign here in the tag team division. Oh. What in the world? Look at the size of that ladder that Joseph's got his hands on. Battery Ooh. ram right into the shoulder of Janela. This is when Joseph gets down to business. And that's the difference. You know, Janela said he likes to wreck places, wreck faces. War Beast wrecks everything. They sure do. Jimmy Jacobs throwing steel chairs into the ring. Look at that eye gouge. I just don't think you're gonna you're gonna beat War Beast at their own game, and that's the game they always play because again, all violence is legal. And these wild tag team, you can't even really call it a tag team match. Ooh, big right hand. And another eye gouge by Jimmy Jacobs. And there it is, Jimmy Jacobs displaying the brilliance. But he didn't see Joseph behind him. Got to be careful. You got Carlina Gore out there. She's not beyond getting physically involved in the matchups. Kevin Sullivan as well. You know, you turn your back in an instant, you might find a fireball right in your face. Just ask the Sandman. Man, Jimmy Jacobs really working on the eyes of his opponents with those fingernails digging into the eyes. And those chairs that were thrown in by Janela now being used by Jacobs and Joseph. Who's gonna get the better of this joust, this sword fight, and it is Jimmy Ooh. Jacobs, or at least it was. Damn. Throwing the high heat right over the plate was Joseph. And we're gonna do our best. I know our, our camera crew doing their best to keep up with this, but they've got to so difficult. Remain safe as well, partner. What a challenge it is for us to cover this fight as it's broken out all over the arena. And look at Janela. Well, and a cameraman just went down in the skirmish. Janela now trying to keep the advantage. Big dive, and he takes down the Samoan werewolf. And Joey Janela proving that when all violence is legal, he can hang. Oh, look at Carlina Gore. How do you, how do you beat these odds? Ooh, pie oh. face from Janela. Uh-oh. Well, Carlina Gore wanted to get involved. Head scissors takedown there by Carlina Gore, but the and the Inzaguri. 
And, but the main thing is she has taken the focus of oh. Janela away. Well, now she's lost her focus, literally. She literally lost her head. Her head is just rolled on to the ring apron and down to the floor. The fire breather ate that kick. And chairs flying everywhere. This match, and really every match that War Beast is in, is so dangerous. It could take years off of a wrestler's career. Janela, though, has been able to play in that Devil's Playground here, though. He is, he's found a way to flourish, he really at least in has. the early going. He really has, partner. It's a great observation. Joey Janela, one of the great professional wrestlers in America today, able to hang when all violence is legal. And Jimmy Jacobs looks really injured. That left leg in a ton of pain. Oh, God. Janela, though, now taking... Please, please don't hurt her. Just let her be, man. She's so perfect the way she is. Carlina Gore in a bad spot here, TK. Yeah, you think? Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my Lord. God! Carlina Gore with a flip pile driver! And that's one of the many reasons I absolutely love Carlina Gore. And now a spear by the zombie princess on the succubus. The what? Jimmy Jacobs now, and again, Joey Janelle, the four J's are finding a way to survive in this hellacious environment. And if you can force it into a one-on-one -on -one contest, you got a shot. And that's what the veteran Jacob, Jake, Jacob has right now on Joseph. Jimmy Jacobs. Going for those eye gouges over and over, trying to establish an absence of vision in his opponents. For the moment, Jacobs and Janela have Oof. nullified that numbers game, although you've got the devil looking on. Look out here. Whoa. Joseph's got that spike. One of Ooh. his signatures. Man, that was 12 to 6 on the clock, and time might be up for Jacobs. And he hit that Syrian spike directly in the forehead of the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. And I'm sure Jacobs will be much more like a zombie as if he gets up. And on top of that, you got Sullivan out there oh, throwing right hands, wow. and now you see that blood start to flow, and that just might fire up War Beast that much more. And Joseph. The Midnight Sun, and now Jimmy Jacobs with his own spike. Yeah, and not only any spike, the spike of Kevin Sullivan we heard about in a recent interview. At a show, he stole the spike. Sullivan spike, and now he's using it on War Beast. Boy, this is a bludgeoning. And those Syrian spikes are landing directly in the forehead <laughs> of Joseph. And this and, match oh has become so violent. I think even Abdullah the Butcher would cringe watching this. This is sick. I mean, these are wide open shots, just stab don't, wounds. Don't be a pussy, Todd Kennedy. This ain't sick. This is the best thing about professional wrestling. Sit back and watch it and enjoy. Don't look at me like that. That's exactly, no, it's, I well, told you that. It's all violence is, is legal for sure. Now Janela. Utilizing those chairs, well, he ate him earlier with that pile driver. How he's even standing is beyond me. Wide open shots, taking down the big man. Oh, God! You can hear that thud from across the PCW Ultratorium. He got all of that chair shot, and Fatu is down. Jimmy Jacobs is an absolute bloody heap. for Jimmy Jacobs, who took a few years off from in-ring competition to return here to PCW Ultra, to return to Southern California, and to bleed out. This couldn't have been in his plans. And now getting your guts absolutely stomped out by the Samoan Werewolf. Shot there again by Janela. 
But somehow, some way, Janella and Jacobs keep on fighting here. They stay alive, and now Janella amazingly looks somewhat, but I mean, Jacobs oh is a bloody mess. Oh, God, look at Jimmy Jacobs. He is going to need medical attention. Yeah, you think? This thing goes more than a few more minutes. Guy might absolutely pass out, bleed out. And if you're at home, you have to have some real concern for the Midnight Sun, Joseph and Jimmy Jacobs on opposing teams tonight, but both men in real clinical tr trouble, real medical trouble here. The bad boy Joey Janela, no stranger to this. He's had many battles in CCW. He is a wired champion. Look how tall that ladder is, Todd Kennelly. It's at least 15 feet tall as it's actually surpassing our lighting rig above the ring. It's, it's three feet above it. Well, you might want to try and climb it all the way up to heaven because all these competitors sure as hell have been down in hell throughout this thing. Look at how Joseph laid out in a bloody mess. He's out. The Midnight Sun is down and dusk. Body count's going to be high in this one. Haven't seen, I don't know if we've seen a single attempt uh -oh. to win this matchup. Christian Cole, it still comes down to pinfall. And Joey Janela up to the top of that ladder. 15 feet in the air! Double stop! Oh, and the chairs didn't give! Imagine! Fatu taking the full brunt of that. Here we go! Warbeast is going down! He kicked one. down on one. One! And he's like a madman now. Well, you might as well forget it. Unbelievable. Got buried in those chairs, and Fatu gets up at one, and now that oh. Alius. My favorite piece of offense from Jacob Fatu. Jacob's is back. How the hell is he still standing? No, sir. Jacob Fatu, the most intimidating wrestler in this company. So much blood from Jimmy Jacobs as he ponders his next move. Jacobs? Where the hell is Jacobs going? He wants no part of War Beast. When you hit a man as hard as you can with a chair directly to the forehead, and he looks at you with that death stare. There's only one option to get the hell out of there. Well, apparently the zombie princess advocating the abdicating the uh, tag team throne figured it was a, as he's walking right past our broadcast position now. I think Jacob's feeling that it was just a losing battle, and he has left Joey Janela in there all by himself. Janela doing all right for himself, actually. Yeah, for now. Look at Janela, like a house of fire running back and forth. The bad boy is dividing and conquering, and that's exactly what he's got to do oh, because God. it's really four on one. Todd, how does 4J have any shot at winning the PCW Ultra Tag Team it, Championships right now. It's not 4J anymore, my four. friend. It's down to 2J. It's down to just Joey, Joey Janela. You're damn right. You owe me a soda. Yeah, jinx. Well, the career of Joey Janela might be jinxed at this point. And when the Midnight Sun Joseph hears those words, all violence is legal, something in him sparks. He becomes inspired by the blood of his opponents. You're damn right. He doesn't believe in anything. He's just here for the violence, and he's getting a whole lot of it. You can call him a nihilist. I call him the most successful tag team championship wrestler this company's ever seen. Yeah, but Jimmy Jacobs leaving, they were giving War Beast more of a battle than just about anybody. Why are you it gonna doesn't matter, Todd. Why are you going to abandon? Jimmy Jacobs ran like a princess to the back, leaving his tag team partner here alone. And it's only formalities now until Jonella will rest in peace and War Beast will retain. Uh-oh, look out here. We've, we've heard the ominous foreshadowing. Oh, shit. I believe they refer to that as Helter Skelter. That was rough. That's three. 
Wow. It'll never stop, partner. And I know you don't Ladies like it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the match, and still PCW Ultra Tag Team Champions, the team of Fatu and Joseph Warby. And I know this upsets you, Todd. I know my little partner TK is sensitive. He doesn't like seeing the blood and the violence. You're sick of seeing War Beast as tag team champions. Well, guess what? Your opinion ain't worth a shit, Todd Kennelly, because these two men, Jacob Fatu, Joseph, the Midnight Sun, will be tag team champions until 3K18.